Welcome back to the Carolina Beat. I'm Chad Greenhill in the Sat Fat Rocks kitchen with Juliana Norris Monroe, author of Sat Fat Rocks and Other Censored Nutritional Gems, giving us the facts on the gluten-free lifestyle. Juliana, what's going on here? Welcome to my home. Everybody has a vice. Mine, I like yours. Mine like are kitchen yours. appliances. I like the KitchenAid stand makers yes. with myself. Yes. So you want to know a little bit about the gluten-free lifestyle, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. When you go into the grocery store and you see the label gluten-free, you think you're home, home free, Absolutely. I'm going to give up gluten, I'm yep. home free. As long as I read the label and it says gluten-free, then I'm good to go, right? So there is, within the FDA labeling guidelines, the label gluten-free actually only includes wheat gluten, uh, rye, and barley. Oh, wow. Those are typically the celiac grains. So what are the other glutens? So the other glutens, so there are other glutens, thank you. That's, I mean, that's, that, that was kind of a leading question. Every but. single grain um, has a, um, a protein, we call them gluten, but it's, it's specific to that, to that grain. So rice has rice gluten, oats have oat gluten, um, corn has corn gluten. So the whole basis of the, of the Sat Fat Rocks lifestyle and the Sat Fat Rocks recipes and the anti-inflammatory nutrition is that we are eliminating um, at least one of the food groups that the FDA has deemed, corn and wheat especially, potentially allergenic. They, they, they comprise, they're part of that eight most allergenic foods. Dairy, of course, soy is another one. But where grains are concerned, um, it's so important that when you are trying to go gluten-free, you really go completely gluten-free. And that means going grain-free. Oh, wow. Well, so if we kind of took a peek in your cabinet here, <laughs> would there be a whole lot of... There'd be a whole lot of magic in there. Let's see what kind Do of it. magic is in there. So... What are we looking at here? We're, we're looking... chickpea? Yeah. Are... Chickpea flour, typically uh, also known as garbanzo bean flour coconut flour, tapioca, or um, tapioca starch, or tapioca flour is gonna be the same thing. Potato starch, um, we've got xanthan gum over here. Wait a second, wait a second, xanthan gum? What's, what is Xanthan gum is going to be our binder because when we don't have gluten, we don't have that sticky factor to, to keep the particles together. So no and glue we end up, with no gluten, right? That's right, so we need another way to keep everything nice and, and together so it's not you know, falling into crumbs when we cut into it. Um, we've got some stevia, stevia. We've got some monk fruit. I just got this recently. I'm not sure how much I like it uh, yet or not. So, so what are those, sweeteners? Those are gonna be our sweeteners, okay. but we're talking about gluten-free today. So, gotcha. so let's, gotcha. let's stick with that for, for so a second. So we've got some baking powder, and all of those powders are gluten-free, which is why They are. This is baking powder that is without any cornstarch. So this is really important because you might go and grab uh, grain-free flours, and then you pick up your regular uh, baking powder and there's cornstarch in. Oh wow! So, so you're, we want to be careful with that. Against yourself, right? A little tiny bit. It's gotcha. Close this. Gotcha. So we, we're talking about the gluten-free lifestyle. If I'm trying to get into the gluten-free lifestyle, what, what, why would I want to get into it? What are the benefits? And on top of that, what's the easiest way to kind of get into it? So uh, we'll have to do a whole separate show on the benefits, or we'll have to go back to a couple of other shows before. But really, getting into your grocery store, going to the gluten-free aisle, but making sure that the product you're picking up does not contain any grain ingredients. So no corn, no rice, no barley malt syrup, nothing like that. Um, obviously, visiting the sapfatrocks.com website, that's going to give us a little more insight as well. Of course, you can pick up a copy of the book if you'd like. Um, but just being open to the idea that just because it says gluten-free, that doesn't mean that it's not still going to have some inflammatory ingredient potential in there. And it could be bad for you. Well, it could be, it, it can, it's inflammatory. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, thank you for all of that amazing information. You're welcome. Visit julianonorris.com and satfatrocks.com for all the information on the mission and the lifestyle.